All right, moving on to the second game now. We're looking at the Lakers at New Orleans. New Orleans favored by one here. On the season, Lakers are 47-35. and 35. They're 7-3 and three in their last 10. On the road, they're 500 at 21-21. and 21. For New Orleans, 49-33. and 33, They've had a very solid season. 4-1 and one in their last five. At home, this team is 21-19. and 19. These teams played... Uh, it was their last game of the season. They just played each other, and the Lakers won that game by 16 points, 124-108. Will we see a different scenario here? Let's go over it. Looking at the injury report first, New Orleans, no injuries are reported. They're a fully healthy team, and that's rare for a team that's had Zion you know, in and out these last few years. However, the Lakers, the big name is Anthony Davis. He's listed as probable. He's had some back spasms. So keep an eye on that one. Even if he's playing, I don't think he'll be fully healthy. Back can be a big problem, and he's had that issue throughout the years. Vanderbilt, Huchifino, and Christian Wood are all listed as out for the Lakers. So looking at what these teams got as far as scoring punches for New Orleans, Zion Williamson, he's a monster, 22, almost 23 a game. You also got Ingram, he should be healthy now, averaging 20 a game, and C.J. McCollum averaging 20 a game. Valanchunas gives him 12 and 8. I think the fact that Ingram is healthy and supposed to be playing tonight could be a big factor here. For the Lakers, we know LeBron and A.D. lead the way. LeBron, 25 points per game, leads him in assists and steals. A.D. right around 25 and 12. With that being said, you guys might be surprised, but we're going to go ahead and take New Orleans here. Give us New Orleans minus one. Looking at some ATS trends, the Lakers are 39 and 44 against the spread this year. On the road, they're 20 and 22. New Orleans 44, 37 and one. Four and six in their last 10. However, at home, they're 20 and 20. So why are we taking the New Orleans team here? I'm going to tell you guys why, and it's due to kind of a situational play here. I think that... Number one, you got AD might be a little bit hobbled, all right? But even if that's not a huge factor, the truth is LeBron's the smartest player in the NBA. And when you look at the potential matchups here, whether they win or lose, if they win this game, they jump to the seventh seed and you got to face Denver. How have they done against Denver this year? Not very good. Not very good, okay? They are 0-3 against Denver this year. However, if they lose this game, and then they have to play in, uh, you know, the winner of the Kings-Warriors game. They obviously will need to win that one to get into the playoffs, but that gives them the eighth seed where they will go against OKC. How have they done against OKC? Three and one this year. LeBron knows this. He knows who the better matchup is. They don't want to have to face Denver in the first round. So I think they're going to somewhat throw this game, and that is why we're going to take New Orleans here, minus one, as our third play of the day. Now let's go ahead and talk about the total in this one, 225 and a half. Over under on the season, the Lakers 47, 35, and one. They've gone over seven out of their last 10 on the road, 26 overs, 16 unders. For New Orleans, 36 overs, 45 unders, one push on the season, five and five in their last 10. At home, they're 20 overs, 20 unders. So nothing too significant. you got Lakers have been more over. New Orleans have been a lot more under. These two teams have played, it looks like, four times this year. And the, it has hit over three out of the four times. So you might think, again, we are leaning towards the over, but we are not. I'm going to take the under in this one. And it goes back to the same reason that I'm taking New Orleans. I don't think the Lakers are going to bring their A game here. I've got this right around like 115 to 105, New Orleans winning, obviously covering, but also then hitting the under. That would give us a total of 220. Looking at some key stats here, uh, you know, on the year, you've got New Orleans that averages about 115 per game. Lakers average 118 per game. A lot of things would point towards the over here. But the big thing that I'm taking into account is the fact that the Lakers are not going to fully play to their abilities. Over the last three games, Lakers haven't shot it great from three, 35.6%. That's down about two percentage points compared to what they do on the season. But again, this goes back to a situational play. 
Um, the Lakers, they're not going to want to face Denver. Let's face it, guys. Let's talk about it, all right? They are going to tank this game. They're going to bring their A game against the Warriors or the Kings, and that's going to put them in position for the eighth seed in a lot better matchup. So give us the under 225 and a half in the Lakers at New Orleans game as our fourth and final play. That's going to wrap it up for us today. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you'd like to qualify for the 40 bucks, all you need to do, number one, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Number two, comment below. Four and oh, give us the good vibes. And number three, like the video. If you do all that and we sweep, I will cash up somebody 40 bucks. We've done it twice in the last 10 days. I think we're going to do it again today. Our motto on this channel is to bust your bookie. Back to back, three and one days. Let's go for the sweep today.